What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelsworld.com and welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna talk about typography and text in Maya we're gonna basically go to Maya 2018 and I'm gonna show you uh, very quickly how to create text in Maya and how the Maya 2018 actually really good for creating text uh, with the new enhancement that they did which is great but uh, the previous generations of Maya like 2015, even 16 and the previous ones they didn't do a really good job in the text so if you're having an issue with these mayas t this tutorial is gonna be really great for you because i'm gonna show you how to create a really looking cool text in maya these uh, older generations of maya and then we're gonna use also illustrator to help us out to get uh, a really like stylized uh, look of text and typography that maya doesn't support and then we're gonna take that into maya and then make it 3d and i'm gonna show you how you can customize it and replace it at any time without any destruction so without further delay let's get started okay so let's create a text here in Maya so we go to type and click on it and then you can see immediately Maya created the text and we're gonna see is it much better than the older versions of Maya so first let's change this to any type of font so we can here adjust the font it's no problem and then the good thing about this text you can adjust also the bevel so you can enable the bevel and then you can start playing with the bevel settings here and adjust it uh, to the way you like which is really good we didn't have this kind of options in the previous generations of Maya uh, especially really the old ones so this is pretty cool you can see guys you have a lot of options you can do this is a quick overview as I mentioned before it's not gonna be like a full tutorial on how to do it but you can access all the settings here and this Maya to adjust all this kind of cool stuff okay and this is the texturing part of course and I just gonna show you now in Maya 2015 if you wanna achieve something like that uh, how to you know work around if you have some issues so let's go now to Maya 2015 okay so now we are in Maya 2015 so let me just show you if you want to create text here you go create and text and then this is the default settings you have and then let's keep this Maya and then if you're gonna create a polygon text you wanna click on polys and then let's say we keep everything like that we change the quads just to make sure it's quads then everything is good and click create so that's what you get so you get like a really kind of low poly the mesh is looks uh, the wireframe looks really messed up and if you have to work with this you need to select them and then you need to go to change to polygon and you go edit mesh and then extrude and then sometimes you get like errors so if you have to extrude correctly you need to select the faces so it's really like tedious work to create the text in Maya uh, this way so let's try another option so let's create another text and this time let's click in bevel now this bevel will work better but it doesn't work with all fonts in Maya so if I have this time uh, Romans and click create it doesn't work so you have to kind of uh, go and start checking which fonts does work and which font doesn't so this one does work so you go to the text bevel here and then you can just play with the fonts that you want and see which one will work I see this one for example doesn't work given error so this is not also a very effective way to create text in Maya so I'm gonna show you guys how to create that using uh, illustrator and then you can use the create you go to the create and then uh, adjust the other illustrator object here you can click on that and then you can import the illustrator object so let's do that let's delete this one and then let's go illustrator Okay, so now we are on Illustrator and uh, you see here I created three uh, different font types that doesn't work very well with uh, Maya. So they are completely different just to show you samples. So now the best way to do that and you know you can easily create uh, fonts in Illustrator by clicking this text and then you can type whatever you want. So let's delete this one and then now we want to take these fonts into Maya. But you can't like export it directly like this from uh, Illustrator. Maya is gonna give you errors. So what you do is let's click right click on it and then create outline. And then do the same with this one. Create outline and then we do the same with this one. So we have all these three texts now uh, converted to outline. 
So this way Maya can read these as a vector and then you can render it without an issue. So let's uh, first, let's separate them into different files. So this way we can import each one individually and have individual control over it. Okay, so let's start with this one. Go like edit, cut, and file new. Click OK and then paste. And then let's click save. And then once you are in the saving uh, Illustrator options, this is very important. Let's change from CS5 to Illustrator 8. So this way it doesn't have any extra things in the Illustrator file. So Maya can import it perfectly. So click OK and click OK here. So we're done with this one. Let's uh, do the same with this one. Edit, cut, buy new, paste. Let's change that to Illustrator 8. Save. Last one. Actually, we don't need to uh, create a new document for this one. Just save as. And then Illustrator 8. Click OK. OK, so now we're done with this step. Should be good. Let's go back to Maya 2015 and then work with this. OK, now we are in Maya 2015. So let's create the Illustrator object. So you go create, let's click on the option box and then make sure we reset the settings. So everything is like the default. You don't need to change anything here. Click create and then we select the file. So now it looks like the file is not there, but you zoom out and then here is the first text. So the pivot is uh, in the center of the scene and the text is off, that's okay. You can always modify centered pivot and then press hold X and then snap it back to the grid. So let's, this is the first thing, so let's push it away and then let's go the same thing, create another one. Okay, so this is the one, another one and then modify center pivot and let's uh, put it in the middle and then let's push it as well. Okay, so this is the last one. Okay, so you can quickly see how we created a completely different uh, typography here. And uh, all works well with Maya now. And the mesh looks really good. Like uh, it doesn't have anything weird. And uh, the great thing I want to show you guys when you have all text together here, you can select it. And then you can go to this uh, Bevel Plus and then you can start tweaking for all the text. You know, you can increase the Bevel. We don't want to increase it too much. You can increase it like a little bit like that. And then you can adjust the depth. So you can create all these kind of cool effects. And the great thing about this also is a non-destructive way. So for example, if you don't like this font and you want to change it. Uh, if you go, let's go to that Illustrator for Bevel. And you see here that uh, file name. So you can cr go to Illustrator and create a completely different font type. And then you just click on this folder and then you can uh, reload the new uh, the new text will be applied here. Just uh, keep in mind you don't delete the history. If you go and delete the history, just make sure you're looking in this side while I'm doing this step. If you go edit delete history, you deleted everything here. So this way you cannot change the text anymore and you cannot change the settings on the text on the bevel and the extrude. So be careful with that step. Just make sure you keep the history if you want to uh, keep changing these uh, texts and then adjusting the bevel until your project gets final. So let's come to this text for example and then let's do some uh, coloration on it. So the best way to do that if you want to have like uh, all the inside faces have like one color and all the edges like the stroke let's say have a different color. The best way is to right click and then assign new material. And then let's call this, uh, and you can start with the border first. So let's say this is border text. And then let's change that to something like green, for example. And then in order to color the inside of the text is really easy. You just like go to the face mode and you just select all these faces, which is, you know, pretty straightforward thing to do. And then we have all these faces selected and then you assign new material to them. And then the same thing, let's assign blend. 
and call this text and then we can assign it like any color we want after that So now we have a uh, different coloration between the face itself and then the border itself. So if you want to change the border, you can make it any color. You want to make it white like that. And of course, you know, you can always adjust the ambient to make it really stylize and look uh, really like nice like this. And the same thing apply here. You can just apply the same uh, texture border text and then you select all the faces and then you can uh, assign new material to them and you can like totally customize this process it's pretty straightforward and then you can notice here in the back we didn't apply any material so it looks uh, white it's still taking the original text shader so that's like up to you how you want it to show because if you're gonna just animate the text you know flying by the camera from this and we never it's never gonna like rotate 360 then you don't need to color the back but uh, you can as you saw like coloring the text is really uh, straightforward stuff and uh, this is how you can basically create this text and modify it and you can always come here to the bevel plus if you want to like modify each one by one without like affecting the other ones and you can start you know enhancing here the look you can go like inward for the bevel itself you know and then you can adjust the depth you can make it thinner or you can like make it like much bigger like that and you can adjust the extrude itself distance so you can start really stylizing uh, how this text look like beyond the original text that we just imported in Maya so this is uh, how you can do text in Animaya, Animaya that can basically have an illustrator object. You can totally do that and really take your text uh, and uh, typography to the next level in Maya and create a really cool uh, animations and cool uh, text uh, presentations. So I want to also mention that this same approach we just did here to create the illustrator object to work with also like um, logos. So if you have a logo in illustrator you can do the same thing like create the, the logo logo already will be outlined and you just import it through the illustrator object here and then you're gonna have it uh, appearing the same way and then you can adjust the settings here to get the look that you're looking for so this is just a quick tutorial to show you guys how you can do this in Maya in any version in Maya and you don't need to rely fully on the text uh, that comes with Maya if you're not happy with it or you have different fonts or stylized fonts that you want to use that Maya doesn't support you can totally still do it using this way so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos feel free to check our website 3dmodelswall.com for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care